hello friends welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering today in this video we will see about the microstructure of slowly cooled steels so first micro structure of slowly cooled steels okay so now what are the microstructure of slowly cooled steels? So first, in the iron carbon diagram, we can see that heat octoid steel is the first example. Heat octoid steels. Okay. So basically, we will talk about heat octoid steels. So the microstructure of heat octoid steel, which contains 0.77 percent of carbon. is all perlite okay perlite kind of microstructure so what is perlite so perlite is a lamellar arrangement of you see lamellar arrangement of alternate parallel plates of ferrite and cement okay so this is about the definition of air light so now we want to know that what is the relative amount of ferrite and cementite in perlite which can be determined using the lever rule so i already made one video what is the timeline and what is lever rule so you can go through that video also so first we will see what is the percentage of ferrite okay so percentage of ferrite so the eutectoid steel forms with the composition ranges that is point zero two and this is point seven seven and this is end of the iron carbon composition so in the diagram is six point six seven if we will follow this arm that is ranges of this so this is the eruptoid point basically in the iron carbon phase diagram so we want to take out what is the relative amount of ferrite so ferrite is this is the whole perlite so this is ferrite plus cementite okay and this uh, all this reaction happens at below 7 to 7 degree centigrade if you want to know about the reaction in detail you can also go through the video in which i have told about the all three reactions happened in iron carbon phase diagram so about this fraction of ferrite 6.67 that is this minus this value that is 0 0.77 divided by 6.67 minus 0 0.02 so that will come out 0.89 that is 89 percent so fraction of cement type will be 1 minus fraction of ferrite that is 0.11 okay so now we can say that the weight fraction of the phases of cementite and that ferrite so ferrite versus ferrite to the cementite we will talk about like this cementite and that is yield ratio 1 okay that is 88 or 89 this is 11 so this is a ratio 1 okay now we will see about the density of ferrite and cementite also so the density of ferrite first so that is 7870 kg per meter cube and this is the density of 7770 that is cementite kg per meter cube so these are comparable 
so we can take the ratio also here and the volume fraction of the ferrite and cementite in pure light or or also approximately in the ratio of this eight ratio okay the same as a here and one more fact about the cementite that cementite plates are much thinner okay cementite plates are much thinner than the ferrite plate okay so these are all about the ferrite and cementite and how the microstructure of perlite looks like so that i will also tell you here like this is the micrograph so the pure light will show like change the color also so just to identify okay like this so there will be one grain another grain Again, so like that only you can understand okay and this is how microstructure looks like if you can consider so just one color you can consider i mean this one and this both are different so you can consider this one is a ferrite then another will be cement type okay so what is the agent we use to see this microstructure? So the nitrile, that is the solution of nitric acid in alcohol. Okay, nitric acid in ethyl alcohol. We use it as an agent. The boundaries between the ferrite and cement are selectively attacked, and the microstructure will be clearly visible. Okay. So the two boundaries of a cementite plate are closely together. They may not be uh, separable, or we can resolve it very well. So cementite often appears as a cementite often appears as a single dark line. Okay, single dark line. So you can understand from here. And the cementite also shown like a thinner plate as i told you here here also this one okay so at higher magnification or in a coarse distribution in perlite the cemented boundaries shown up as separate lines at a very high mag we can see separate lines at a very high mag we can see this one and the separate lines so now i will also tell about the hypoeutectite and hyperuteptide steels okay okay hypoeutectide steels first so the composition of hypoeutectide steel is less than always is less than point oh sorry this is less than 0.77 percentage of carbon okay so that means it is less than 0.77 percentage of carbon now in addition to the perlite the pro eutectite ferrite that is pro alpha is present in hypo eutectite steel that is pro eutectite Right. that is generally we call it pro alpha okay so the pro alpha the fraction of pro alpha can be estimated from the lever rule so for example if the hyperuteral steel contains 0.2 percentage of carbon and we want to calculate this pro eutectite ferrite pro alpha so how we will calculate that fraction of pro alpha is equal to the line i already told you this is 0 0.77 0 0.77 this is 0 0.2 this is 0 0.02 okay 
so we can see 0 0.77 minus 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.77 minus 0 0.2 so it will come out 0 0.77 the fraction of per light if you want to know then per light will be equal to 1 minus 0 0.77 that is 0 0.2 okay so this is how we calculate any carbon percentage if it is given within the hypochlorite steel then we can calculate the fraction of protrude ferrite and perlite this is the fraction now we will talk about yeah before starting this uh, hypochlorite steel one more additional information i want to mention here that this hypochlorite steel uh, contains the protrude ferrite so the pro erupted ferrite that is pro alpha forms at the oxidant grain boundary between the region A3 and A1. And these are the temperatures. I already told about the uh, critical temperatures in the current phase diagram. So you can also get to know about the A3, A1, A0, A2, everything is mentioned. Okay. So now I would like to move to the next one that is hyper erupted steel. So first proeruptite phase is cementite here. There was proeruptite phase is ferrite. So here is proeruptite phase is cement. Okay. So we will talk about here proefe3c. Proefe3c. So it separates between the boundaries. A CM and A1 temperature. Like here A3 and A1, here A C M and A1. As a thin network around the austenite green boundaries. Okay. So suppose if the carbon percentage is around 1.2%. So applying the lever rule, we can also calculate about the pro FE3C phase. Fraction of pro FE. So here also this is 0 0.77 here suppose 1.2 here around 6.67 so we can calculate about the pro fe 3c and perlight okay so to, to calculate this one we have to take this region 6.67 minus 1.2 divided by 6.67 minus 0 0.77 so it will give out 0 0.07 okay and about the fraction of that like we can calculate 1 minus 0 0.07 that is 0 0.93 so this is how we can calculate any uh, fraction of uh, pro cementite and perlite in the hyperreflective steels okay so this is all about the today's video just to recap we will see that microstructure of slowly cooled steel so we talk about zero dry steel so the carbon percentage is always 0.77 uh, percentage of carbon so it is having a pure light kind of morphology so this pure light having a combination of uh, ferrite and cementite so the ferrite and cementite is also uh, arranged in a laminar arrangement of alternate parallel plates of ferrite and cementite okay so this is about our uh, hypo steel this can also mention the hypo steel okay so here we talk about the pro ferrite and cementite okay Okay, uh, this thing actually already I uh, mentioned below here. Yeah. This one, okay. So this hyperdrive steel and this is hyperdrive steel. Okay. So thank you so much, guys. If you have any doubts, kindly put it into the comment section and uh, like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.